All right, what you see here is a new tone for Randa Tude ceiling fan in polished brass. I got this from Brandon C. Johnson. It's a 52 inch ceiling fan. It's basically a transitional model between the Vernon Deluxe and the Vernon 2. The later version of the Vernon 2 looks more like a new tone elegance. Brandon C. Johnson actually has one, but he, didn't, he wasn't selling that one, so I'll, I'll post the video link of that one as well just for those who are curious as to what it looks like. And for those who don't know what a new tone elegance is, but um, yeah. I like this version, um, the later version of it has an actual stack motor. Kind of uses more like a rubber, has like a rubber flywheel from what I know. Kind of uses like more of a cosmogic style of motor. And they stop, it runs on a control from what I know. But um, This one is actually a spinner motor version. That's what these were, like a transitional model. So it was like, basically like the last version of the, that, this is like right before they actually got rid of the, this look completely. And basically, it's kind of like when Mar New Tone was starting to make their fans over overseas. So, and this one is made in Hong Kong, if I'm from what I remember, sitting on the on the top side of it. The fan is from 1987. I'm not sure when, but um, that's all I know about it so far. The blades are wood. They're at least they're not MDF blades. Probably it's kind of hard to see. Well. They definitely have the inserts of wood blades still. They do look like MDF, but if you look closely, they actually have like the inserts. Like that you can tell. It's definitely, so these are definitely not MDF blades. Although the blades that are on the, that are on the actual friendly deluxe are a lot better quality wood. The blades are starting to get a little bit loose. But then, that's one thing I don't like about screws that hold these in. They're, basically what they are is, um, Yeah, basically the screws that you use to to mount the cosmic down on. Let me tighten that one up. That one was a bit loose. It must have loosened up over time. I'm sure they were actual screws. So you can actually tighten them pretty well. Um, they do have rubber grommets on them. Let me just check all the blades. This one's a tiny bit loose as well. But it's mostly the grommets that are kind of making them loose because some of them are... Same thing with Hunter fans from the 90s. This one has rubber grommets and this one, they are a bit worn out. Um, I'm resting the fan on the ball canopy. I don't have the ball thing inside of it, of course. Yeah, this one's still a bit loose. Let me try to tighten it. There we go. But um, yeah, this way kit is not registered for a fan, of course. Um, I pulled this from the Renner Deluxe, which, it, but since that's what I had on there, since it was in the closet, and that's the main reason why I put this way kit on here because I actually want to see how this fan, a fan like this, would work with it. Even though it's not the actual Renner Deluxe, it's basically a, an identical version of it. So I feel like it's not really that much of a difference, except. This isn't as powerful as it, so I just want to see how it looks on it. And so far, I think this white kit looks perfect on this fan. I, I like that the reason why I want to put one of this white kit on is because, like, since I took off the ornate switch cap, it had like a little ornate thing somewhat in the center of this white kit. And I feel like this would, would, would be perfect for that, so it's kind of like having a, a natural white kit that matches the fan. And I feel like this is, out of any white kit I would put, I feel like this would be it. Either this or the one that like Cole Smeagol has on his new tone Randy Deluxe and Antique Brass, which is probably my one of my favorite fans of Cole's collection. His actually has stencil from what I know, mine, neither of mine do, so. But um, the childhood version that I had, that I saw at um, Burger King, didn't have any. And that's why these fans are actually major childhood fans. Because I don't know if I said this already, but in this video, I know I did a video of it without the switch, without the white kit, but um, there was a Burger King nearby me, well it's still open, that had two of them. And it's, it's in the same city I live in right now. And um, they had two of them in polished brass. No, they were not stencil blades, they were actually just plain blades, just like mine. And um, I don't know if they were the exact finish of the blades, but I know they did not have stencil, I know that for a fact. And um, they were two of them, and they would, I would ask them to turn them off for me sometimes when I was in there, so they would actually put, turn them off for me a few times. And um, one day, it was like, they were there for a while, obviously since like the 80s, so um, they were planning to keep, they were never planning to get rid of them, but what happened, well, 
and now they probably would have been removed because they renovated the whole place. But on the center area, like, there was like a wooden frame, and it, like there was like a center part of the eating area that was like frame. There was like wooden frame that like, and there was like a wooden ceiling above it, like an art ceiling kind of. It's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard to describe it. Like kind of like in churches, like that. Kind of like the church that I recorded the eight new, new tone Vinnie Deluxe's in brown finish. Um, it has like a little loop, something like that. Kind of like there's like arches in each center or something like that. But um, um, the ceiling that where the new tone Vinnie Deluxe's were in that Burger King had a bad leak, and the fans were completely ruined. And so, and I remember seeing like the, that area they had to like close off. Um, they had had an area all like you couldn't go in it. It was so. There was like it was like floods in there almost like it was flooding pretty badly from the weeks. I don't know what happened, but um, something must have gotten damaged with the ceiling. Obviously, so the fans didn't work no more. But they were beyond. They were they were like if they turned them on, they wouldn't. If when they tried to turn them on at first, like they had a, mat, a extremely bad spark, and then they just they both of them just stopped working afterwards. So yeah, that was the last time. And then like they what they did was on the. We, we moved. The, they basically put a drop ceiling where the woods where they were, and they removed the fans. And that was the last time I saw them. So, but um, they were, and that was the last time I saw them until I like saw videos of them on YouTube and such. Well, I saw some fans similar to them, but they weren't actual brand new boxes. So um, yeah. And this bike and I like it. It looks very similar to the Bahama. Like it's, it's on my grandmother's Bahama ceiling fan in her living room. And I feel like that white type of white table is really good on fans from the 80s, especially with these type of shades. And then speaking about the shades, these shades are actually from the Coda presidency that was in my living room back at the old place that was installed two years ago, before I put the local file up, since the, the, for those who don't know, the Coda actually failed on me. Basically what that fan was, is it was a, um, a knockoff of a Constant Market Victorian. Although this fan I like a bit more, I had, well, I feel like this and... If I had both of them installed together, I could do an install instead of the Hunter Oak profile and the Passport 2 at the old place. I would have done it, but they're two different finishes. This is, this is polished brass and the code was antique brass. But um, I feel like these shades look perfect on this fan regardless. Alright, so I'm going to the video. Let me turn off the light. Let me just be sure it's... Yeah, Alright, it was on reverse. I just want to start off on forward. Here's low. Let's move the white kit a little bit. Yeah, the white kit's not locked into place completely. I don't know why. I have like a bolt at the end of it, like a little thing to lock it in place. It's not locking it in, into place that well. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But it is a very nice fan. These are definitely my favorite. It's a brand new is my favorite fan from New Tone without, without a doubt. But um, this is similar to it. It's basically the same thing, so except it has a spin motor and a variable speed and such, and it has rubber blade grommets in between the blade blades and stuff. But, um, it's still just, it looks identical to it, so I don't really have an issue. I feel um, I feel I feel some air from it, but it's, I don't feel it going upwards. I feel it like it feels on reverse. Um, I did. Oh, the way I'm seeing to be more out of clock, I don't know why, but I did bend one of them back into place yesterday because one of them was very really out of alignment. But um, it could just be the blades being a bit loose. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, this fan was brand new in box. So um, if you watch the new fan video, you see that I had the box right right behind me, or right behind the fan that is. But um, yeah, this fan um. It's not as powerful as the Newton Brandon Duox, obviously, because the Brandon Duox has a stack motor. This one has just a spinner motor with a little flywheel at the bottom, so you can actually map, mount the blade arms to it. It's still a nice fan, though, although I do prefer the actual Brandon Duox over this. But it's still nice to have a spinner motor version. And if the other one needed some parts, I could always pull like a blade arm or two from this fan. If, if like the blade arm broke on, if one of the blade arms broke on the other one, I could see one from this one. Although I wouldn't use this as a parts fan, but since it has the same blade on it, if I was to install it to it, I'll obviously install the other one since it's more powerful, but I need to um do something to get the bearings more quiet on the other one since it does have some sort of bearing issues. Sound, that is. But um, here's the light. 
I absolutely love how it looks with the lights right here, on, especially on the um, vents. I think it's like it looks perfect on the fan. It looks, I think it makes the fan really, makes the fan look very stunning. Even though the fan's already a very nice fan, but already, but the light can, like, this light can on it, I think, maybe adds, gives more character to the fan. It makes me really want to install it, if, but um, it would, it would have to go in either, either my bedroom, my mom's bedroom, or the dining room, and either of those spots can have a fan, and that's the only issue with that. But, um, yeah, still a very nice fan. I'm definitely going to try to install one, either this or the other one, whenever I get my own place, without a doubt. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and shut off the light, move it to medium. And that is something I do, I go to the vents. That are, they're like on the bottom part of the, of the motor housing, which is the ones that you're seeing. They don't have any, it's just painted to make it look like vents. The top side actually has open vents on it. And I kind of like that because I remember, I know a lot of fans, they have like those little screen, they're like screened in a bit, the vents and um, the issue with that is um, sometimes they break pretty easy. Or they come completely off just like the one, like the one that was on the new tone hook, the ceiling. Ceiling fan. Uh, it's making a little bit of noise due to the grommets being a bit messed up. Some of them are, are worn out, despite the fan being brand new. Or maybe they just, they just aren't that strong. They aren't that good quality of a grommets. Um, they definitely aren't. They're very thick grommets. They're not like the ones from Hunter. This fan seems to do fine when I four test it. Not as well as I wish it would because I obviously could it's sitting on the um canopy. It's not like attached to the canopy really. But um this is really the only way I can actually test it on a four unfortunately. But it's safe, so but well, it's not gonna go it's not moving at all, so I made sure of it. The new time for the box, however, I'm not sure if that's gonna be if that'll be possible because that one has a stronger motor. So it actually might um like the Constant Market Dark 2, when I tested the white and brass one at the old place, I felt like an LCA. It was like, I couldn't even test it on high. I have a feeling that would be the same issue with the Vintage Deluxe, possibly, but I'll have to see. I'll try it out later on this year, hopefully. If I can get it quieter. Okay, I'm going to show up to light. Oh, it's on medium speed. I honestly would make this the profile picture for my YouTube channel, but I'd rather have something that's installed currently as a profile picture, and that's, this fan's not installed. If it was installed, it would definitely be a profile picture, but I like the profile picture I have on it, that I have on the channel right now anyways. Basically, a cheaper version of the Vernon Deluxe. It's still a very nice fan. Oops. Alright, now for high. And I did bend the weight up just a tiny bit to get a little bit better pitch because the light has not felt like it. I didn't feel all that much air. I felt it more from underneath, so hopefully that will improve it this time. This time, run off a little more air from it. It does go, f I want to say it goes extremely fast and high, it goes a bit slower than the Hunter fans I have installed. A little bit faster than the, um, low profile, but definitely a bit, a little bit slower than the, um, Infinity. How do I get to be a bit, I don't like it when it's moved over to the side a bit.
this wobble bit on high, and that's mostly because of it, it being four tests and also the way out one of them's out of clock. Or maybe two of them, but. Um, I know, I'm pretty sure the boy arms on the Renegade Walks are actually out of clock as well. I feel like they were not in the best alignment when I saw Grand's video of it. I feel like it's the white kid that's moving, not the fan. But it's probably the fan as well. Let me see if you can hear what ammo you can actually hear. Yeah, mostly I'm feeling ammo from underneath it, so I'll just put it in. Oh, it's also a vent over behind the enemies. Waiting more towards me. I don't know why, but I'm. Um, if you can hear any of the ammo, man. It's very similar to um like the um carousel. You had to be carousel, you can feel mostly ammo from underneath it. Not so much from the top side. Well it's being four tested that is. Yeah, it's a very beautiful fan, so I really do like this fan a lot. I am feeling some air from it, I'm not feeling a whole lot, but that's mostly because it's being full and also I don't. So I guess the increased weight pitch doesn't really help that much. But it really doesn't seem to be going all that fast, to be honest. I shut it off. The fan, too, that it. This one's so light. Let's do a spin down. Spin down on this fan is going to be very quick. And I'm already 17 minutes into the video, but it's a very quick spin down, trust me. And I'm not going to be showing it all that long and on reverse. But um, I think it's this arm right here that's. Yeah, this one got a bit damaged when it was shipped. Like, oh no, it's this, it's this one right here. Yeah, spin down is really nice. It's like maybe like less than 20 seconds or 30 seconds. Like that. So. I put it on reverse, but I don't know if I showed the um, light on, like the vents up close with the light on. Oh, it's off. Who knows? This actually could be a profile picture later on for the channel. You never know. Maybe like this. Oh, no, just the arms are so big on it, so that's not the issue. It would have to be like the same way I had the old profile picture of the code up. Alright, here's low. I'm to the light. Maybe we're not going to show it that long on low, so it's really not much. It's going to be test, it's almost going to be basically the same as if I had it on forward, so. But just for those who want to see it on reverse, I'm just doing it for you guys. Well, I forgot to um, show it, see how much light it gives. So I have to shut off the way above me. That's something I'm doing this year. So let me turn on the light on the fan and maybe shut off the light above me. Yeah, it definitely lights up the room pretty well, actually. If it was installed right now, it would definitely give off a pretty good lighting. I don't know if you can tell the difference right now. So yeah, it's not extremely dark in here. Well, the, the white bulbs I have in on the Infinity are bright white. These are soft white. Alright. Off, high, medium. It does all right. It does pretty, it's basically the same thing as if it was on forward. I don't know why there's some fans on forward test them. I feel when they're supposed to be pushing air upwards since they're on forward, they're, I feel more air from underneath it. I don't know why that happens, but um, sometimes it happens with really few fans. This is one of them. All right, let me 
finish that off. The light and move it up to high. So I swap them for them first as well. So it definitely has a nice 80s look to it. And the fan is actually moving away, but I'm actually looking at one of the um, screws that are holding the housing together. Oh yeah, maybe just shut it off. I just want to shut up the light quickly. What's on high reverse. Alright, let me shut it off. The light that is now on the fan. And that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.